All right, good day, Jabronis. It is the Verd back with you again, and welcome here to our Week One game of the NBA. Uh, we are in here against Slek. This is the team that he has brought. A very interesting uh, lineup, to say the least. Um, yeah, he didn't bring Drill, which I kind of expected. Um, Jolteon, yeah, I mean it's it's all right. It's not too big of a deal. I think. Um, Lead, lead Volcarona is just really good in this um, in this matchup. I'm just trying to think of like what he he didn't have. Dra I'm trying to remember what like I was facing in the mock. It was the drill, and then I can't remember the other Pokemon. I got all my calcs put in, and all the other stuff. So 100% going to lead with Volcarona because if he leads Drape, I don't care. If he leads Jolteon, I can take any hit and fire it dance for free. I feel like he'll lead Pharaoh or Finny or maybe even Moltres, and I can play around any of them. So yeah, lead Volk. He leads Moltres, as expected. Um, I kind of just want to quiver, turn one, because he may just try and hard swap out of Moltres into Finny. Yeah, I feel like that's his play. Um, looking at this matchup, by the way, guys, I really like the look of Zygarde. <sighs> Zygarde looks really, really solid. I kind of just want to quiver. Because if he's scarfed, I'm going to obviously take it, and then I'll see the next turn to kill him. And then he doesn't really have a way of revenging me with priority, and I can just Giga Drain if I need to. So Quiver is pretty free, and I feel like he's going to go out to Finny. And if I Quiver up, then I can just drop a Giga Drain on Finny, which is uh, really nice. So I'm just going to choose a Quiver here. He does choose to stay in. Goes to the Air Slash, does absolutely nothing to me. And uh, I can just go now, I believe. Um, I'm just going to go for HP Rock regardless. Uh, it's not Life Orb, obviously. But what I just want to see is a Chardy Berry set. Uh, Chardy Berry against plus one Rona. I won't kill him. But he can't kill me. So I'm just going to drop an HP Rock on him, I think. Cool, he's dead. Alright, so Moltres is gone. Um, I'm hoping he goes Finny here over Latios, given that uh, Dark Pulse could be... Uh, sorry, not Dark Pulse. Bug Buzz could be a thing. I'm hoping Finny is the immediate answer. Drapion is apparently the immediate answer, which I find to be interesting. Um, am I missing something about Drapion? Uh, Fire Dance, if he has no bulk, is a 43.8% chance to kill. I get to chip this thing. And there's a potential chance to kill it, so I'm just going to go for damage. He also, unless he uses Aqua Tail, can't really kill me from here, so that's really nice. I'm just going to go for Fire Dance for free. I don't knock it out. I do get a special attack raise. He has Rock Slide. That's fine. So that dies. That's not a big deal at all. So he's weakened. I can kind of just go freely into my Gallade here and bulk up. He doesn't have really a play around that, so... That's awesome. If he goes Finny, like I said, Jab should be a 2 KO. So I can just Mega Evolve and bulk up here free. And if he lets Finny get weakened, like, look at the rest of his team, and look at my uh, Zygarde spread. See, so, yeah, this is a free bulk up. I can uh, eat any hit from this Finny, even Moonblast, and I can just drop a Drain, uh, not Drain Punch, Poison Jab, because my Mega Gallade set. I'm pretty sure I did this calc before against Tapu Finny. If it's like, um, Bold Nature... Max HP, max defense, yeah, plus one is a guaranteed 2 kill after lefty recovery. So, just gonna jab pretty freely, get off a huge chunk. Your Moonblast does a decent amount to me, gets a special attack drop, it doesn't matter, obviously. I can just jab again here pretty freely. Um, he could try and make a plan to Ferrothorn. Drain Punch won't kill, so there's no point risking that. If he goes Ferro, it's no big deal. He has no other switch in to Gallade at this point, so I can just jab again and knock this out. He wants to go hard Pharaoh, that's completely fine by me. I have Drain Punch, so this is no big deal. I can just click Drain Punch this turn. He doesn't have a switch in, so I'm just going to click Drain Punch. He eats a Chopple Berry, it still does a huge chunk. I don't really know what Ferrothorn can do to me here other than Leech. Uh, leeching is fine. I don't really care. Uh, he knows Drain Punch could kill him here, he could go hard Finny. I kind of just want to click Knock, to be honest with you, because uh, it's kind of free. Um, hits Finny as well on swatch in, uh, switch in. I feel like he doesn't 
I feel like I don't lose much from drain punching though, because even if Finny comes in, um, I chunk it a bit. And that's pretty nice. Misty Terrain will roll out too, which I guess is cool for some reason. I'm just going to drain again. He just protects, that's fine. So now I'll just jab. I feel like he has no reason to stay in and waste his Ferrothorn, which is still handy for the Bulu. Uh, especially since if Ferro goes down, then AV Bulu just puts in a ton of work. So this turn I kind of want to jab, predicting Finny. If he stays in an attacks, fair play, but if that also happens, I go into Zygarde and set up, and Finny is now weakened considerably, so then Zygarde has a chance to win, so I'm just going to jab. As it goes, Latios, and I get off a shit ton of damage for free. Awesome. So this is a speed tie um, between myself and Latios. I could preserve Gallade, but at this point, I'm not really too fussed, because the Ferrothor now is also weakened. I know that it's not... Oka or that specially defensive, so I know that Greninja can kind of fuck it up. Like, Gren's in such a good position too, man. So, kind of just want to risk the roll here and click knock, because if I get the roll right, then I might just win. At the same time, what I could just do is go hard into Wob, which is a pretty safe play as well, because he may just click Roost or something, I don't know. Uh, maybe Wob is the play, just to confirm knockout on this. But then I'm just worried about what happens after Wob gets the kill. Obviously, don't want to allow Drapion on a setup, so I'm just going to click knock, I think, because it's a speed tie. I could win it and knock him out. I do. Awesome. Win the speed tie. Down goes, Gal um, down goes Latios. Fantastic. That's awesome. So, Latios is destroyed. That is fantastic. Pretty happy with how this is going so far. It's almost going exactly to plan, more or less. I have no reason to make all these tough switches. Uh, Jolteon, if it's not sub, I'll 1v1 up with Wobbuffet later on. Yeah, because Jolt. Um, I kind of just want to go hard Bulu because he doesn't really have a switch in for Bulu. And I feel like he might just go for either the HP Ice or the Thunderbolt here to knock me out. Bulu can obviously take that, and then I can just basically um, click Superpower for free. I can actually just go Mega Horn into Superpower if I want to. Or even Horn Leech into Superpower. I don't know. Mega Horn into Superpower is pretty good. So, hard Bulu, I can preserve my Gallade for three things that outspeeds. He's going to Shadow Ball, it's going to do shit all. That was a crit, which. Kind of sucks a bit, but it's fine. Um, Mega Horn into Superpower should knock out Ferrothorn. Obviously, depends on the set, but I'm pretty confident that a Mega Horn into a Superpower will knock out most Ferrothorn sets, so I can freely just go for that combo. He does go Ferro. I'll just drop a Mega Horn. Um, does a good amount of damage. He may try and protect this turn. Potentially. Um... To scout. Part of me wants to click Mega Horn again to make him think maybe I'm locked into it, but I'm just going to click Superpower. If he protects, so be it. If I Superpower and kill the Ferrothorn, that's fine. So yeah, he, he knows I have Superpower now. Um, but at the same time, he doesn't have a switch in. Like, nothing on his team wants to come in on Superpower, so I'm just going to click it again. If he wants to go out to his Finny, that's fine. Finny's getting chipped. I don't really care. Um, and if he wants to go out to Drapion, it dies. If he wants to go out to Jolteon, it gets ridiculously chipped. So... It's pretty free to click on Superpower here. If he wants to go, if he goes Finny, it doesn't matter at that point. I don't think. Well, does it matter? Um, hmm. Do I want to click Horn Leech? Is the question? Because if I can predict the Finny and kill it, then I think Bulu just almost wins on its own, which is really nice. I think uh, Zygarde at this point has the game anyway. Once I get a uh, thing up, so. I think I just want to click Superpower, regardless. Yep, because he just leaves uh, Ferrothorn in to die. We could... So Ferro's down, that's huge, because he can go Drapion now if he wants to, but I don't really care. Uh, he just goes Drap, that's fine. Um, I feel like he may be like a choice Drapion, or he might be um, AV. So I kind of want to go hard Wob. Because, well, I mean, Wob can 1v1 Jolteon, though, so I want to play this properly. I probably want to go into my Greninja, actually. Because... Uh, Gren can weaken the Jolteon anyway. Oh, I don't really want to go Gren. Maybe I'll just go for Gal- No, because I can go Gallade afterwards. Maybe Gallade is the swap. I'm just trying to think of my best play, because I feel like he'll click Poison Jab. I just want to open the door at the right moment for Zygarde to come in, because obviously Gren can come in afterwards, and can me put on a lot of pressure. I should actually calc that Jolteon Shadow Ball. Uh, Jolteon obviously wasn't Life Orb, but I just want to see like the damage output. It should have been done into Bulu. So if it crit me, it probably is Max Special Attack from the looks of it. Yeah, Max Special Attack Jolt, but different item. 
So contemplating what I want to go into here, I feel like Gren is the safest play because I can play around Jolteon afterwards and I can afford to take a hit with anything he goes for. Jab won't do too much, doesn't get the poison, which is great. You get a bit of health back. Um, I am Life Orb, so I assume that even a AV Drapion will get knocked out. Let's find out. I'm pretty sure Ishimori can just knock that out with Dark Pulse from here, yeah. Um, if he's AV, I probably don't, I don't think. Um, I don't know, it's tough. Drapion with an Assault Vest probably isn't getting knocked out. Would he run Assault Vest Drapion in this matchup, that is a question. I don't think he would, I'm just going to click Pulse. Um, even if he, yeah, he's Scarf, that's fine, I live that. He gets the poison, which sucks, but I would have died to life all regardless. So it turns out he's a Scarf Drape. That's completely fine by me. I will take that double down. And I can kind of freely just go into Bulu here, because Jolt can't knock it out, and neither can Finny. Bulu's pretty safe. He goes into Jolt, and I kind of get a free uh, Horn Leech here. Unless he reveals, like, Hidden Power Poison now, which would be a really nice tech, but I feel like he needs HP Ice, so I can just click Horn Leech this turn. If he goes Finny and Saxa, that's fine. I'm AV. I can take it. It's, like, <laughs> no big deal at all, really, in this matchup. So, Bulu's kind of free to uh, click Leech this turn. There's really nothing lost from it. If he reveals HP uh, Poison, then I go into Zygarde and win. I can just, um, basically, coil once, and that's the game. He has a Z move, Never in Nightmare, I am Assault Vest, so I can eat that quite easily and just click Horn Leech and knock this thing out. So, yeah. <laughs> AV Bulu is a monster. So, this is going to come in, but it can't kill me. I can just click Horn Leech. Um, yeah. So, we wrap this game up pretty nicely. Bulu at 100% too. So, Bulu coming in clutch late game. Uh, I think it secured uh, three kills. Yep, three kills for Bulu, uh, a kill for Gallade, a kill for Volcarona, and a kill for Greninja. And your Tampa Bay Frogadiers start off this. It was only a 12 minute live battle, it went really quickly, but um, Lead Volk did exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, it put pressure on the. Um, Kill the Moltres, like I really wanted it to do, and it also weakened that Scarf Drapion to the point where it wasn't really a threat. Kind of regretting not clicking Shuriken. If I clicked Shuriken there, then I think Gren could have done a bit more work, and I maybe could have preserved Differential, but I had no reason to risk that. I'm pretty happy with how the team went. Bulu put in a ton of work. Shame I couldn't use Wob or the Zygarde set, but everybody else put in a huge amount of work. Massive shout-out to Slack. I will link his channel in the description, as always. But yeah, we start off our season with a 4-0 win. Felt really comfortable with that game, and we're just going to move on and um, go from there. But yeah, this is the Avert, and I'm out this bitch.